Hey, so this is gonna be a video on what boxes you should or should not keep. I've been struggling to make this video for a while now because I've always been like, not always, but I've been like a miniature, like like collector person. I like keeping things. But I've never really come to terms with the fact that I don't need all this garbage, man. So let's see. Clearly, I have a lot of boxes, right? Not as many as some people, but more than is really necessary. To begin with, uh, you need to figure out which, uh, so primarily here I have like products for the most part, like, like, uh, accessories, like PC stuff, and you need to figure out what stuff you do and do not have warranties on. And on top of that, which ones do look good on a shelf and which ones don't look good on a shelf. I'll admit it. You can keep some of these boxes if they look cool or if you even plan on selling them in the future. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Switch Pro controller that looks ugly as shit. Uh, and it's also, I don't have a warranty for it. Throw it out. Viper Ultimate. I don't even use it anymore. I have it. I have the product still, and I, I could just resell this. So I could, I'll keep it just to resell it. My keyboard box, uh, Dragon Ball Super, uh, affiliated. It's, it's the ugliest box I've ever seen, and you don't need to keep a keyboard box. Especially if it's special edition. Because, like, you're not gonna sell it. It's a keyboard. I spent, like, 200 bucks on it. I'm not gonna sell that. Next thing. I have my Founders Edition box for my graphics card. You can keep that on a shelf. Looks pretty okay. Keep that. Next thing, Apple TV box. I'm still paying it off at the moment. I'm doing a monthly thing on it, so I got to keep it, kind of. This is the mouse that I currently use. Uh, it was a gift for my brother because he bought a new one, a white one. I mean, it looks fine from the front. Uh, I mean, you could keep it, considering I, I also still have it. But at the same time, I don't have a warranty for it, and there's really no point in me keeping the box if I keep all the accessories. So, no on that. Elgato Stream Deck box, it's it's fine. The colors are fine, but again, no warranty. No reason to no reason to keep the box. Phone box, I'm still paying it off, so I'm gonna keep that. My Apple Watch, also paying it off in case I need to return it or something. You know, same with these three right here. All my Apple products, basically, I'm still paying off. Next, my headphones box, just don't, you don't need it. No warranty, I just bought it off of Amazon. It's not like it's limited edition or anything. Speaking of limited edition, uh, this may cause some controversy, but I have an ambush uh, pair of Nike shoes. You don't, you don't need the box, man. If it comes with any accessories or whatever, keep it. But otherwise, you just don't need it. And that brings us down to just four boxes. I guess five. And boom, there we go. Look at how much better that is. That fits on one small little area now versus all this garbage that you just, that's just wasting space. And now look at how much more room is in my closet. So there you go. A good way to sort these is just by, if you're still paying it off, if you have a warranty for it, or if it just looks good on a shelf, or if, if wherever you are gonna keep it is gonna look good there. Anyways, yeah, um, like and follow for more.